happy Wednesday. Welcome to Wear It Wednesday, where every week I am showcasing a different style from my collection and showing my favorite ways to actually style that piece. Today I am featuring the Cassie skirt. It is one of my absolute favorite styles in LuLaRoe. The Julia and the Cassie were my first two loves. Julia was my first love. Cassie is the next best thing in my book. Um, so I'm going to show you some of my favorite ways to wear the Cassie. There are more. There are different ways that some other people decide to uh, style theirs. These are going to be my favorites. I'm going to make sure that I can... I need to just make sure that I'm on screen, really, is what I'm doing because I'm using a little bit different setup and I'm going to make sure that I stay in frame. So I'm going to pull this up on my computer as well. But if you're here, say hello. I hope everybody's having a good Wednesday so far. Hi, Ramona. Okay, can I see that on here? Okay, I can see it on both. That's good. So that's a good good start there. Oops, what do we got going on here? Here we go. Um, Ramona, how are you? What's going on today? Oops, that's not what I meant to do. So the first thing that I want to... Uh, to address is that I, I get a lot of people who say the Cassie is more of a springtime or summertime piece. I can't wear Cassie, it's too cold outside. So that's gonna be the first thing I'm going to address because let me tell you, Cassie is good all year round. I personally wear the Cassie, I mean I would wear Cassie seven days a week if I could. I mean I can. I probably wear it more than I should. But I just love it so much. So I'm gonna show you the way that I wear it in the winter, one of my favorite ways, I'm just gonna jump right into this. One of my favorite things to do is throw on leggings underneath it and a pair of booties. You immediately have that extra layer on your length, I mean on your legs, but you still have the classiness of the Cassie, you still have the professional look of the Cassie, the amazing prints on the Cassie, but you don't have to sacrifice being warm and comfortable. Um, I'm also obviously gonna show you some of the cover-ups that I like to wear with the Cassie, but when I wear booties with my leggings and a Cassie, if I'm wearing shorter booties, I personally like to wear the same color leggings as my boots. It creates a nice long lean line and it gives the illusion that you might be even longer than you actually are. I am pretty tall. Uh, I'm like 5'8"-ish on a good day when I stand up real tall. Um, but I personally like, if you wear different color booties, it's super cute, but it does break up your line a little bit. So by wearing the same color leggings as your booties, you extend the eye all the way down and it gives the illusion that you're even taller. If you're wearing shorter boots, I mean, excuse me, if you're wearing longer boots and all you're seeing is that little bit, it's kind of nice to have a different color in there because it does the, it does the opposite. You kind of see a little burst of color in there. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is one of my absolute favorite Cassie's. So I'm going to show you the different ways that I like to wear it. Um, oh, I also need to pull up my list here to make sure I don't forget anything. I wrote down all my favorites just so I make sure that I get all of them on here. Okay, so I, right now, I have the, the Irma top on. I have, I wear a couple different sizes in the Irma depending on how I want it to fit. This is on the bigger end of what I wear uh, because I like the looser fit sometimes with the clean fitted line of the Cassie. So you can wear the Irma tucked in. You can, hi Debbie. You can wear it fully tucked in. I'll show you that real quick. What that looks like. So you can fully tuck in the Irma and then you still have that loose look on top and you have the kind of dolman sleeve effect of it. It's not exactly a dolman, but it's kind of that, that look to it. And then you get the clean, nice fitted line of the Cassie skirt. It's a little bit more professional if you're in an office, if you're in, you know, if you're a lawyer, if you're a teacher, you're in a regular office job and you need to have that more professional look to you, tucking in the Irma is a great way to do that. It gives nice clean lines all around. You can throw a blazer on over the top, you can throw a Harvey on over the top. There's lots of different options. If you're just out and about and you want it to be a little bit more relaxed, I like to tuck my Irmas in in the front and then have them be a little bit looser in the back. So pulled out in the back, it just gives a little bit more casual look to it, but you still have that clean line again 
all the way through and it kind of it defines it defines your waist a little bit more so I personally like to wear things that accentuate my waist and kind of give a little bit more of that hourglass shape and the Cassie does a great job of doing that so I kind of like to show off the waistband of my Cassie the other way that you can do it is to fully take out your Irma this will be much more casual and then you have the much flowier look on top with but you still have that kind of fitted bottom it's really nice it gives a good balance when you wear something flowy either on top or bottom and then you do the opposite on the other side the other thing that you can do with the Irma so this is how I would wear this if I did want it out is to belt it so you still get that way I always do this I always put this belt on backwards and then I can't I like my hand my muscle memory just can't figure out how to belt the belt when it's not on the right way so then if I have a flowier top it's a really simple way to kind of create a waist in a shirt that doesn't have a lot of shape right the Irma is a tunic top it's a much flowier top it doesn't have a lot of natural shape to it so I like to create that shape by putting a belt on it and then you still have a little bit more coverage so some if you're a little bit more self-conscious of the tight hip area in the Cassie you can cover up a little bit of that with a little bit flowier on top <clears throat> excuse me so that's that one okay I also love to I'm gonna tuck the front of this back in again throw on my good old trusted Shirley here so you guys have seen this Shirley. I wear this Shirley all the time. You guys, I like more than I should. I just love it. So by adding the Shirley on top, it's just kind of a nice finishing touch. It still looks professional. It's a little bit flowier. Again, if you're a little bit more self-conscious of having something super tight, a little bit more fitted, throwing on that Shirley on top that's flowy does just the just the perfect amount of coverage right it's gonna cover the outside edges while still letting you see that shape on the inside of it um okay so that's that one I'm going to step off camera really quickly and show you my other one of my other favorite ways you can really wear the Cassie with any one of our tops in LuLaRoe. That's one of the things that I love. So here it is with the classic tee. And again, with the classic tee, so this is my normal size in a classic tee. You can tuck it in all the way, all the way around, right? Which gives you your natural silhouette. Okay, I don't like it. I don't like it that tight. Right? But it's a little bit more casual. It's, it's, you know, you can wear the Cassie with any, like your favorite graphic tee, your classic tee. So we've got it like that, tucked in. When I tuck in my classic tees, I will again either throw a Shirley on or I will throw on a Sarah, which I tried on this Sarah for one of my other ones, I think with my Julia's and almost kept it. And I still almost want to keep this thing. I just love this color, but that's not what I'm looking at. Okay. So I think that the Cassie with the Sarah is such a nice look. I think it's so professional looking. It's just so pretty and duster sweaters are like, they're always in. Let me grab this out of here. I always do that. Me. There we go. So a classic tee, a Cassie and a Sarah, one of my absolute favorite combinations so comfortable, so warm, so clean looking. I just think it, it gives such nice lines to any body type. I just kind of want to hang out in this now. So that's that one. I'm going to actually pull, actually, I'm just going to leave them on. I was going to take my leggings off and show that it's like obviously a more springy skirt too, but I kind of like them on right now. Okay, so with a, classic, with a classic tee, you can have it tucked in like we just did. You can also have it out and just wear it. I mean, obviously you can just wear it just like this and it's a much more casual, casual look. Again, it's going to cover a little bit more of the booty. The classic tee does have that little bit of a high low to it. So it's going to cover a little bit more of the booty. 
but it's a much more casual look when it's out. You can also, let's see, I didn't grab my little, my little ties that I usually do this with, but I will just do it with my hands if I can. If I can get this to go. You can also create a little knot there, which again gives the line of the Cassie, but it's a little bit different look with the same top. Oh, I almost forgot to say. One of the other things that I hear a lot is, I'm too short, I can't wear the Cassie, I'm too short. So not true. The Cassie has the yoga waistband, it's nice and wide. You can fold it, it's nice and wide on here, but it's they're not super, super thick. So you can, let me tuck my shirt in so I can show you this. You can fold it over so that it is a little bit shorter. It kind of brings the skirt up a little bit. You can fold it halfway over, you can fold it all the way over, and it doesn't, you can see, it doesn't actually add bulk when you fold it over. So that's one worry that I hear people, well, if I fold it, it's gonna be super bulky, you'll be able to tell it's folded. You really can't with the Cassie. You can also fold it in, fold it inside, so that the band is all the way inside the skirt. I mean, can, look, you can't even see that it's folded. Well, I didn't do a very good job. <laughs> I didn't do it very evenly so you can see where I like tripled it up but like it does not add a lot of fabric when you do that and it can you can shorten it up to you know two to three inches so just because you are not as tall as some other people may be who love the Cassie does not mean you cannot wear it look at how much you can take it up without adding bulk so anybody can wear the Cassie. This is my normal size. The other thing I love to do is wear an oversized classic, which I love to oversize my classic tees. I'm gonna grab one that I grabbed off of my rack real quickly to show you here. Doo, doo, doo. Okay. So this is a medium. The other, the other one that I had on, ooh, I think it's an extra small. Let me check. I can wear a few different sizes in the classic. That's an extra small. So the other one I had on is an extra small. This is a medium. So you can see it's flowier. It's a little bit looser. Again, you can wear it out. You can tie it up. And you can tie it up in the front like that. You can tie it up. I probably wouldn't do this one like this because the stripes will go a little bit wonky. But if it were another print or a solid, you can tie it up on the side and it just kind of creates an elongating line and gives you that waist still, but it gives you a little bit more movement through the body when you upsize. Um, when you tuck it in, when it's upsized, again, you're just giving yourself a little bit more movement up top while still having that nice clean line on the bottom. So I love to upsize. I will actually upsize my classic tees all the way up to an extra large. So my normal size is an extra small. I can wear an extra extra small if it's a stretchy material. So I will, my normal size is an extra small and I will upsize to an extra large. So up to four, I will upsize up to four sizes and it just creates a different look for it. Still super cute. It's not, I think if I, if I upsize more than four, it starts to look a little bit sloppier if I don't do it just right. But I can go four sizes up and everything in between, which is really nice, and still have it create a nice, a clean look to it. Let's see. I'm going to put back on my classic tee. I mean, my regular size classic because it's one of my favorite things to wear with it so then I can show you how else I pair it. I'm gonna tuck it in again. Okay. Um, Megan, pretty much, yes. It is, so it's the same length. It hits me the same spot that my Julia's do if I wear it up around my, like my natural waist. So if I wear it right here, which is where I like to because again, I kind of like to accentuate my waist because proportionally I have wider shoulders and wider hips and I have a smaller waist so I personally like to accentuate that so I will wear my Cassie's around my natural waist and then they hit me right where my Julia's do 
Yes. Yeah, so it would it would depend on obviously like where you wear it because you can wear them up high. I've seen people pull them all the way up under their bust. I have seen people wear them down around their hips. I like to wear it right here. So obviously depending on where you wear it, it's going to hit at a different length. But in terms of the fit, they are fitted like the bottom half of the Julia. Yes. Hi, Katie. Okay. I also love, I'm super obsessed with my Harvey jackets. And I think the Harvey is perfect with the Cassie because the Harvey is the cropped version of our denim jacket, which creates that same line that the Cassie does. I tried on my Jackson with the Cassie. I don't like it as much because it creates a little bit like the lines aren't in the right spots for me. I love my Jackson, but I don't love it with my Cassie. I love the Harvey with my Cassie. The lines hit at the same spot. I just think it creates a good, let's see, swimming difference with the elastic waistband. Yes. Oh my gosh, Megan, you have not tried a Cassie? Girl, I am telling you, Cassie, I love Cassie. Yes. And they're, they're really stretchy. So they're really forgiving. There are a few materials that are not quite as stretchy, just like with all the other styles, but Cassies are forgiving. The women that I've talked to that have been nervous about trying a Cassie because, you know, we all have our, our things that we're a little bit more self-conscious about. But again, finding the right thing to pair it with is absolutely crucial. That might be a Sarah. That might be a Shirley. That might be, you know, a Jackson to cover it up. Again, I don't personally, on my body, like the Jackson with it as much as I like the Harvey with it. Uh, it might be a Lindsay. I don't carry Lindsay's. Um, finding something that's going to cover what you want to cover and then have the Cassie to accentuate. Other, I, I, I love Cassie's. <laughs> I, I'm a little embarrassed to tell you guys how many Cassies are in my closet. I am guarantee you my husband does not know, and I don't think he should know because I have so many Cassies. Okay, a couple more. I have on my mannequin a couple other ways that I like to wear it. So here is a Julia. I'm going to pull this up. This girl, you guys, this mannequin has seen so many better days. Whoa. I'm pretty sure we lost a couple more screws right before as I was trying to dress her in this. So I have a Julia right here underneath the Cassie. My two favorite, my two favorite girls right here, Julia and Cassie. So if I, the bottom of the Julia is right at the bottom of this Cassie. So you could kind of cinch it up or, you know, however you wanted, to, however you wanted to make it comfortable. But I think the Julia creates such a nice clean line that goes right into the Cassie. This is one of my absolute favorite looks. This is such, I mean, this, this particular one could be dressed down very easily, but if you had the right combination, I mean, you could wear this in court, you could wear this, you know, it can be so professional. Throw in a blazer over the top of it. Again, I like, I like my Harveys over the top of them. There's just so many different things that you can do with it. You could oversize your Julia again so that it's a little bit looser, a little bit flowier. Also, the Gigi is essentially the top half of the Julia. So you could always throw a Gigi on over the top of your Cassie and it's going to look essentially just like this. So I love my Julia's. Oh my gosh, I'm so worried she's just going to collapse one of these times. Oh, okay. I love my Julia's and my Cassie's. A lot of women love Cassie paired with the perfect tee. So let's see. Katie, you haven't... Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys don't know what you're missing. Let me help you find your perfect Cassie. I love the Cassie. Share her love. Share my love. Share my love of Cassie with me. The Cassie, again, so it can fit all the way up on the waist. This area, you know, the tummy, the hips, is where some women want to try to cover up. With the perfect T, you get that coverage, but then you, again, have that balance with the fitted Cassie underneath. But the perfect tee kind of creates that. I don't know if you guys can see this because I'm going to swipe over so I can see what you guys see. La, la, la. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can see. Okay, so I've got the nice fitted Cassie underneath. And then I have the flowy perfect tee. And you could do this a bunch of different ways. You could wear the perfect tee just as is so that you have that, <clears throat> excuse me, that same flowy top. You can belt it just like we did with the Irma when the Irma was pulled out. Right? So you create a little bit of a waist. So maybe you want to accentuate your waist, but you still want a little bit of coverage over the hips. 
that's going to create that look for you. You can, remember the perfect tee has the slits on the side, so you can tie up the sides, which is going to give just a little bit more shape to the top of it. It's not going to give you quite as much of that A-line flowiness. It gives it, it brings it in just a little bit there. You can, there are all different ways that you can wear the perfect tee. You know, some people grab the fronts and tie it in the back like that. So it is a lot more flowy. Uh, you can tie it up in the front like that as well and create a little bow in the front. I like it out with a belt, super simple, but it also looks very nice too. You could dress this look up quite a bit. Also just crazy comfortable. Um, what am I for? Oh my gosh. Okay. The other thing, if you just have a killer Cassie, you can wear it so many different ways. For which, for which reason, Katie? Well, why don't you, why don't you tend to wear dresses and skirts? I can tell you, I just didn't used to wear dresses and skirts because I didn't want to look girly. But now I love my dresses and skirts because they're super comfortable. Last what? Last way I'm going to show you. You can wear so the the Cassie skirt is a pencil skirt, right? And it's basically just a tube. You can wear it as a scarf. So if you have that one Cassie that just has a killer print, or it's a solid, you know, whatever. You can wear. Well, obviously my let's go like this. I'll show you this real quick without the Harvey. Harvey's. I wouldn't pick this one with this outfit. Let's see. Maybe have a better one that I can show you. Maybe the green one. But it's just a super cute little addition that gives you one more way to rock your Cassie. That's a little better with my outfit right now. So it's not like a warmth one, but it is a another little accessory with your Cassie skirt. All right, friends, those are, I think that's all. I think those are my ways. Did I hit them all? Oh, Randy. Oh my gosh. You can wear it with the Randy too. Let me grab this one real quick. I almost forgot. I was telling you that you can wear them with any one of our shirts. I pulled another one. Okay, Randy. Our baseball tee. You can wear it out. This is super relaxed, obviously. This would be a much more casual way to wear your classic, or I mean your Cassie. Pulled out. You can tuck it in and create that same line again with it over the top. You can do it part way tucked in, part way tucked out. Um, I'm gonna show you also, make sure I'm off screen before I remove this top. My, one of my most recent ones. So this would be perfect on these colder days, like right now. Again, you can wear the Cassie all year round. The Lene, I pulled this one as well, which is basically the same line as the classic. Right? So by putting leggings on and booties and throwing a long sleeve shirt on, you have created a winter cold weather outfit out of your Cassie. Um, I feel like I have one more thing. I feel like I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting, you guys? What's your favorite way to wear the Cassie? Well, some of you haven't tried a Cassie. I can't even believe some of you haven't tried a Cassie. Hopefully, you'll want to now. So, I mean, it's cute, right? You can wear it as a, as a scarf. I'm not into, like, all the hacks and stuff, right? Like, some people wear it many, many different ways, but... I like to keep it simple. The scarf is one, though, that I will change the way that it's meant to be worn. Cassie, Randy, yes. So comfortable, but super cute, too. So this, I mean, this might be one of my favorites. I might just keep all these things and head on out. I know, and it's such a simple way. So that's what I was trying to say. I, I typically like to just wear things the way that they're meant to be worn. I don't typically like to try all the hacks and stuff. Um... I, I am still alive, mother. <laughs> um, I, the Randy, Meredith, that the baseball tees, they're super comfortable. So, 
Oh no, I'm throwing off because I know my mom's watching. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't typically like to wear them how they're other than how they're intended to wear, but I do love the Cassie as a scarf. I just think it's a super cute accessory, and it's one more way to bring in your favorite pieces into your everyday wear. So that's what I have for you guys. If you have not tried a Cassie, let me help you find your favorite Cassie, your next favorite piece. Uh, how about this? If you can guess how many, the first person, we're going to do a little giveaway here, just on the spot. First person to guess the number of Cassies that I have in my personal closet will win a pair of leggings. Um, I will say it's not an obscene amount. It's a lot. It's not an obscene amount. That's my one hint. I mean, maybe you'll think it's obscene. I don't think it's obscene just yet. It's getting there. <laughs> um, I can do that for you. I can, I can find you one I think you'll like. Okay. Uh, thanks for hanging out for a little bit of your Wednesday. I am going to go get my girls. Let's see. Oh, I think I'm not seeing all of them. Ooh. You guys are close. I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to give you guys some more guesses. I'm going to wait just a minute. Nobody's guessed it yet. But you guys are close. Okay. I'm going to go get my 20 to 30. <laughs> what what would you guys think would be obscene? What would an obscene amount be? I don't think I'm obscene. I don't think it's obscene. But I do love my Cassies. 66? <laughs> that would be obscene. I think that would be an obscene amount of Cassies. I don't think I don't have 66. Not even close. Okay, um, wow, what do you guys think? Oh, oh, that was your obscene number. Is that what you were saying? You, that, because I asked what you guys think would be obscene. Okay, you're right. That would be obscene. Not that many. Okay, I'm going to let you guys keep guessing. The first one that I see that actually guesses it right will get a pair of leggings. Uh, I hope you guys saw some new ways to wear your Cassie. I hope those of you that have not tried one want to try one, and I would love to help you find one that you love. I'm going to go get my kids. I'm also going to photograph some new stuff that I have. You got it! 15! I have 15 Cassies in my closet. All right. Miss Brock, make sure you're registered with me, and I will. And let me know what size you wear, and I will send you a pair of leggings. Good guess. I have 15 Cassies in my collection. Probably more coming soon because I just can't help myself. Okay. Uh, happy Wednesday, everybody. We'll see you guys next time. And I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. Bye.